Welcome to Easy Limu Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, volume and capacity. And for this lesson, we're going to look at conversion of units on involving capacity. So we will look at uh, capacity and find out what capacity is and how, I mean, uh, the units that are used for capacity and the SI unit and other units and how we do the unit uh, conversion from one unit to another. So we have a, a few questions that will help us with illustrations on how you do unit conversions involving capacity. And at the end of the lesson, we'll have some assignments just to help you gauge on your understanding of the concept as discussed during this lesson. So capacity is defined as the maximum amount of, you know, it is the maximum amount that maybe a, a given container can, can, can contain, you know, can carry how much, you know, what is the maximum that a particular container can carry? For example, uh, if you have a container like this one here, maybe this could be a measuring cylinder or, or something. Then what is the maximum that it can carry? What is the maximum? You know, you could be talking of the volume in it, but what is its maximum? What is the maximum that it, it can carry, you know? So that is what we call capacity, the maximum amount that something can, can contain. The SI unit is the liter. So when it comes to uh, unit conversion, remember we have the SI unit and then there are other units of measuring capacity. We still use the prefixes that we talked about previously, like, uh, like centi, which stands for what? One over a hundred milli, one over a thousand. So you can still talk of maybe something like 10 milliliter. So if you remove this, you replace it by 1000. So you talk of one times 10 times one over a thousand of a liter. See, that is going to be 10 over a thousand. 10 over 1,000 of a liter, which is 1 over 100 of a liter, which is 0 0.01 liters. So we still use the prefixes milli, centi, deci. You can also use deci. See, deci stands for 1 over 10. So you talk of 20 deciliters. So deci here stands for 1 over 10. So it will be 20 times 1 over 10 of a liter, which is then 2. Two liters, 20 deciliters. So this is stands for one. So the prefix that we used previously can also be used here when it comes to unit conversion. So we have, uh, can see now we have, a, from there we can be able to conclude that a liter is a thousand milliliters. So let's see how units are converted. Of course, now we have, uh, a relationship between volume and capacity, like the units used in measuring volume, how do they relate with the units used to measure capacity like liters? So one liter has about 1,000, you know, one, one, one cubic meter here. One cubic meter has 1,000 liters in it. Also, we have one liter, just a liter, maybe of a liquid, as how many cubic centimeters? A thousand. So please take note, these two are very important. They basically illustrate how volume and capacity are related. So let's see how that can be done here. So express the following units in liters. So we have one liter is how many milliliters? 1,000 milliliters. Let's see. Remember that one, we are getting it from one milliliter. This milli stands for one over a thousand. It's equals to one times one over a thousand of a liter. 
you know, milli here is one over thousand. So one ml on this side will be one over a thousand of a liter. So you multiply both sides by a thousand. You see this cancels that. And a thousand by one is a thousand, and the other side we have just one liter. So one liter is a thousand ml. That is how we are arriving at the conclusion that one liter is a thousand ml is something that we can prove. So what about the 400 ml? How many liters will they be? So you do cross multiplication. So 400, you multiply by one, then you divide by by 1000. So 400 by one is just 400. Then you divide by 1000. So this zeros cancels out and then now you have four over 10, which is then equal to what? So that is, this is where the decimal point is. So the decimal point will move to the left just one step. So that will give us uh, 0 0.4 liters. So deci here stands for, so one liter again, how many deciliters? 10 deciliters. Deci stands for 1 over 10. So 1 deciliter should be 1 times 1 over 10 liters. So if you multiply, so you see 1 deciliter should be, so if you remove this D, you replace it by 1 over 10. So that is 1 over 10 deciliter, I mean 1 over 10 liters. So you can multiply both sides by 10. So this 10 will cancel the other 10 and this other side will just have one liter. But on this other side we'll have 10 deci, deci liters. Deci liter. One, one liter is 10 deciliters. So how about the 100 deciliters? How many liters will that be? So again, we'll do cross multiplication. So we multiply 100 by 1, and then you divide by 10. So 100 by 1 is 100 over 10. So 0 cancels 0. And then you have 10, 10 liters. So we have uh, so we have this other example. The cubic centimeters are supposed to be converted back to liters. So again, we have one liter is a thousand cubic cubic centimeters. What about the fourteen two zero cubic centimeters? How many liters will this be? So you cross multiply again. This fourteen twenty by one. You divide by 1000. So 1420 by 1 is just 1420. Then you divide by 1000. This is where the decimal point is for a whole number. So you move it to the left three times. So 1, 2, 3. This is where the decimal point should be in between 1 and 4. So that is 1.42 liters. So we have 
another one here. So I'll I'll try and convert this to cubic meters first. You know. So I know one one meter one meter or one cubic meter so we have one meter is equals to a thousand millimeters how about one cubic meter that is going to be one meter times one meter times one meter so one meter so one cubic meter one meter is a thousand mm times another one thousand mm times another one thousand mm. So one cubic meter, a thousand times a thousand times a thousand, that will be one billion. So mm times mm times mm is a cubic mm. So how about the three four zero zero cubic mm? How many cubic meters will they be? So these are three, four, zero, zero times one. We divide by a thousand. I mean a billion. So the first two zeros will cancel this. And then now what we have? So what I have is three, four divided by 10 million so where should the decimal so the decimal point will move to the left so this is where it is so it will move to the left seven times so we have one two three four five six seven the decimal point is so what you have is zero point how many zeros are these one two three four five so one two three four five three four cubic cubic meters but then now i have one cubic meter is equals to a thousand liters because we are supposed to convert them to liters so what about zero point zero 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 one two three four five so zero three four cubic how many liters will they be so it's basically you cross multiply by a thousand there so zero point zero 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 three four by one thousand divide by one that will move the decimal point again to the right three steps so one so we have one, two, three. So that is zero point zero zero three four liters. So the final one we have a certain company which uses four hundred liters of water a day. Find the amount of water used in cubes. So again, one cubic meter is a thousand. So we have to write the 4,000 liters on the other side and cubic meters on one side. So how many cubic meters are they going to be? That is going to be 4,000 times 1 divided by 1,000. So 0 cancels 0 cancels 0. And so you have 4 by 1, which is just 4. Only. So that is uh, all for now. We have a few questions here that you can attempt to help you on practicing. I mean, with practicing on what you have learned. So, uh, 
always attempt when done you can always be submitting feedback we look at them and we give you uh, feedback in the due course otherwise that is all for now until next time goodbye